Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Sower. Can we please start taking our seats? Babies, take your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. Mary, Mary, take your seat. Mary behind you. Danny, take your seat. <laughs> take everybody. So I want to welcome everybody to So or a Late Thursday Encounter Night. Woo, yay. Woo. Right, right. God is good. And all the time. God bless all of you for being here tonight. Uh, God is good, as we just said. And quick reminder, we do have some snacks, waters here. We have AC as well in this room. So stay cool, stay hydrated. And grab some snacks uh, if you can. Restrooms are in the back towards the entrance. Um, so we do have a powerful night in store for you guys tonight, and um, there's Bibles, and the setup is for a specific reason, so we hope you follow along. We're going to go ahead and get started with our brother Chris here, who's going to lead us into the chaplet. And do we have the Rosarios? No, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and start it with Chris, and here you go, Chris. Oh, and then I need my little. Oh, thank you. And then I need that little um, that that sheet that like guides me. You know that sheet that guides me. You know we have it, sister. We have it. I can put it on my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Bro. Bro, I freaking. Yeah, if you want, bro. Abrir el espacio aquí si alguien te want to say it. start now mic check one two <laughs> all right guys so um we're about to start the chaplet of the divine mercy so um <clears throat> let us just um let us place ourselves in the presence of our of our lord and let us just offer this um chaplet for all of your intentions and lord knows each one of our intentions that we have in our hearts we just offer it up for the intentions and we just pray for the world let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen <clears throat> oh jesus eternal truth our life i call upon you and i beg your mercy for poor sinners oh sweetest heart of my lord full of pity and unfathomable mercy i plead with you for poor sinners O most sacred heart found of mercy from which gush forth rays of inconceivable graces upon the entire human race I beg of you, light for poor sinners. O oh, Jesus, be mindful of your own bitter passion and do not permit the loss of souls redeemed at so dear a price of your most precious blood. O oh, Jesus, when I consider the great price of your blood, I rejoice at its immensity, for one drop alone would have been enough for the salvation of all sinners. Although sin is an abyss of wickedness and ingratitude, the price paid for us can never be equal. Therefore, let every soul trust in the passion of the Lord and place its hope in his mercy. God will, God will not deny his mercy to anyone. Heaven and earth may change, but God's mercy will never be exhausted. Oh, what an immense joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your in, incomprehensible goodness. Oh, Jesus, I desire to bring all sinners to your feet that they may glorify your mercy throughout endless ages. <clears throat> You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. 
O phantom life, the unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, <clears throat> soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for that, Brother Chris. Now, tonight is a very exciting night, guys, because we're going to embark on a journey, all of us together, right? And we put together something, a three-night series, and it's called Finding Ourselves in Christ. So I'm thinking that's something we can all do together, right? Yes. No? <laughs> right? And then the, the first night it, tonight is called My Identity as a Child of God. And we have Jesenia Flores, who's going to be our speaker tonight. So there's a reason why your rivals are in the table. Hopefully, you guys can all follow along. Uh, before we move forward, I want to ask that we are a nonprofit. Um, do we have the box of love? <laughs> We're going to pass the box um, of love. And essentially, that's to help us move forward in spreading the word of, of our Lord. Everything that we receive is donated and put back into the ministry. Um, Bibles, snacks, even um, projector that we somehow forgot tonight <laughs> is all for our use. So if you can donate, please do so. If you can, just make sure you include us in, our, in your prayers because we do need them. We, sometimes, you know, it does get a little difficult to spread the word, but we're going to keep going regardless of what it looks like. We are also here joined by Ralph tonight. Stand up, Ralph. You know, life happened, and we couldn't have our usual sower band here, sower choir, and we called Ralph. We said, Ralph, can you, can you help us out? No hesitation. He says, I'll be there. So you guys saw him run in. He's coming, he's coming really far. Where are you coming from, Ralph? Whew. So bless be God for having us, uh, for giving us Ralph so he can share his talents tonight. We're going to go ahead. He's going to lead us into some praise and worship. Then we're going to jump into the talk. So take it away, Ralph. Is this 
this thing on. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Blessed by the best? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm going home. Uh, yeah, come on, come on. Do these sound very blessed to you, bro? Do these sound blessed? Nah. How are you guys doing? Blessed by the best? Amen. Too anointed to be disappointed. Amen. amen. Stand on up. We're going to start with some worship. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. We're going to start off with one. We're going to start off with one that we do every single, well, almost every Thursday. I'm pretty sure you guys know it, so if you guys know the words, sing along. It's called Our God. Amen? Amen. What are you turning to wine? What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you, Lord. There's none, none like you. you. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness, darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like you, Lord. There's none like you. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. Why do you turn it to wine? Why do you turn it to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power. Our God. Our God. One more time. Our God is greater. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God, and if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand more time? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand more time? Then if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? Then what could stand against? Our God is greater. Come on. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, our God is greater. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God. Our God, one more time, just the voices. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome. Empower our God. Our God. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, because we're blessed and we're alive and we are here today, man. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling good and you guys should feel good too because 
you know, God has a message for all of us that is going to just sharpen us up in our faith and just in our personal lives as well. So, you know, the good news is coming. It's already here. So prepare your hearts and most of all, prepare your soul to receive it today. Receive it what God has today in store. Continue, Ralph. Amen, amen. This next one is called Your Love Awakens Me. If you guys, again, if you guys know it, sing along. And if not, feel free to clap along. Amen. Amen. Come on. There are walls between us. There are walls between us. Hey. And by your cost, you came and broke them down. You broke them down. There were chains, and there were chains around us. And by your grace, we are no longer bound. No longer bound. You call me out of the grave. You call me into the light. You call my name, and then my heart came. Your love is greater. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Feel the darkness shaking. Feel the darkness shaking. All the dead are coming back, back to, to life. Back, back to, to life. life. Hear the song. Hear the song awaken. All creation singing, we're alive. Cause you're alive. You call me out. You call me out of the grave. You call me into the light. You call my name and then my heart came. Your love is greater. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens One more time. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. And what a love. And what a love we found. Death can't hold us down. We shout it out, we're alive, cause you're alive. And what a love we found, death can't hold us down. We shout it out, we're alive, cause you're alive. And what a love we found, death can't hold us down. We shout it out, we're alive, cause you're alive. And what a love we found, death can't hold us down. We shout it out, we're alive, cause you're alive. Your love is greater, your love is greater. Your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater, your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. One more time. Your love is greater, your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Your love is greater, your love is stronger. Your love awakens, awakens, awakens me. Woo! Jesus! 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 Jesus. <laughs> amen, amen. I think they're starting to wake up, Ralph. Uh, We're warming them up. We're amen, warming amen. them up. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. Let's go on to the next one. Go ahead, Ralph, present it. All righty. So you guys are awake now. Amen? Amen. We're going to put you guys back to sleep. <laughs> now, honestly, go, go ahead and sit, take a seat, you guys. This next one is more of a reflection one, more of a meditative one before we get into the, uh, the, the talk tonight. You know, I just want, I just want you guys to, uh, to take a seat and just reflect on this, uh, on the words of this song. Amen? You know, so the theme of the talk tonight is, you know, who I am in God and 
obviously when we come when we come back to God, when we start implementing the faith into our life, you know, old things, we see old behaviors, we see old patterns of living, just start to fade away little by little, amen? Amen. And we come back to uh, to the arms of, uh, of the Father, coming back to the arms of Jesus, and that's what this next song is about. I don't know if you guys have done it here yet, but, you know, it's uh, one of my favorites right now. It's really going to my heart, so if you guys want to close your eyes, meditate, or just, you know, thank God for, for everything he's done in your life throughout this next song. This, this song is called uh, Jesus, We Love You. Amen. have passed away your constant your love has stayed the same your constant grace remains the things that we thought we're dead, are breathing in life again. You, your sun, to shine on darkest nights. For all that you've done, we will pour out a love. This will be our anthem song. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our, our hearts adore. Our hearts adore. The hopeless have found their home. The orphans now have a home. All that was lost has found its place in you. You lift our weary head. You make us strong instead. You took these rags and made us beautiful. For all that you've done, we will pour out a love. This will be our anthem song. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our, our hearts adore. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. Our hearts adore, and our affection, our devotion, poured out on the feet of Jesus. Our affection, our devotion, poured out on the feet of Jesus and our affection, our devotion poured out on the feet of Jesus.
with us and our affection, our devotion poured out on the feet of Jesus and our affection, our devotion poured out on the feet of Jesus. We love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our, our hearts adore. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the Jesus, we love you, Jesus, and we are here because we truly feel that in our hearts, and we just want to continue to love you, but we ask you, Lord, that you send your love upon us today and every single day to the rest of our lives, Lord, so that we can live in your love. And we can also transmit that love that you have for everybody. Thank you, Jesus, for, for living in us, around us. Thank you, Lord. We love you and continue to move in us, Lord. In your name, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Give it up for Brother Ralph and Brother <laughs> Danny. Thank you, thank you, praise the God. Um, so now we're gonna actually go ahead and introduce our speaker uh, who's gonna lead us in the talk. Make sure you have a name tag. Is anybody missing a name tag? Okay, make sure you get it. Um, so Jesenia, Sister Jesenia is gonna lead us in the first talk and as she comes over, we can raise our hands and just give her a small prayer here. Let's get her ready. All right, let's extend our hand and I'll pray for our sister. Heavenly Father, tonight we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you with everything you've done in our lives, in the life especially of our sister Yesenia, that you continue to bless her and use her tonight greatly for your glory, Lord. Fill her with your spirit and give her the wisdom, give her the courage to speak the truth, Lord, and allow each and every one of us to open up our hearts and listen to your word, Lord. We ask this in your holy name. Give a special blessing to Sister Yesenia. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Test? Okay. How's everyone feeling tonight? Sounds like we're sleeping. How's everyone feeling tonight? Okay, so when, uh, when we uh, thought about September, we were like, okay, what do we do for September? Who can we get for September? And our, our leader, Daniela, shared something very beautiful, um, something that she had done um, that day, and that's how this series came about is finding ourselves in Christ. And like Brother Walter said, or it's a beautiful thing to be able to do it together. But what does is, what is finding ourselves in Christ mean? Well, in this three, three um, parts that we're gonna condense because we have special things going on this month. Um, the first topic that came to mind is my identity. And for me, it comes easy to think, oh, my identity in God, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian, I love God, you know, I, I'm a Catholic and all that. But then I took a step back because as some of you may know, I came from education and I thought about what our world is telling kids my identity is, or even what the world is telling us what our, our identity should be. So 
The best place that I've always found that we can go to find answers is right here. And that's why I welcome if you don't, or if you have yours, um, to have your, the Bible handy. We have more here if anybody needs them. Because... As, as we very well know, the word of our Lord is what guides us when we're lost. The word of our Lord is what's meant to give us answers when we seek them. They may not be right away, but they definitely bring us more peace, right? So when I started this, um, preparing for this, the first scripture that came was um, John 1, verse 12. And I'm going to go, for sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and, and read it. So the Gospel of John, I'm sorry, the Gospel of the Lord according to John. Again, this is first chapter, verse 12. Is that the New Testament? I'm trying to look for it in the old Genesis and Revelation. I'm lost. Where is it? So the gospel according to John says. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. I'm going to read that one more time. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God. How many times, and, and I, the reason why this verse stood out the most to me is because as followers of Christ, we identify ourselves as children of God, right? And when we accept our God as our heavenly father, you know, that means a lot for some of us. Um, when we see him as the father figure that some of us maybe never had or the one that we wish we would have had, it, it touched me deep because when we look at him as that father figure, we look at him to guide us in the areas and places where maybe our humanly fathers didn't get to. And that doesn't mean because they weren't around. That could be very well, but even those of us who had our fathers in our lives, our, our, our earthly fathers also came with brokenness, which means that they didn't get to guide us in the perfect way as only God can, right? So when we say we're children of God, well, what does that really mean? And that's what we're going to dive deep into. Because having an encounter, and I know some of you uh, just came back from a retreat um, with Father Arthur, having an encounter with God can help us find peace in, in the storm that we may be living. Finding an encounter can, and God can help us call him Father, Abba, right? It can help us identify as children of God, as, as, as I just said, because of that. But when we dig deeper into our identity, this is why you're all, I, I, I started this evening with name tags, because this is the names that either were called at home, our parents gave us, or our friends call us. And this is the name that we use amongst ourselves, right? But what names does God have for me? And I pray that by the end of tonight, you will all be able to find a different name. And I don't mean to go change it legally. I mean, <laughs> one that you can now, when you wake up and you see yourselves in the mirror, that's the identity you see for yourself. Amen? So I'm going to start this journey with um, the book of Romans, chapter 15, 7. Romans 15, 7. 
Romans chapter 15, verse 7. And if you want to know where Romans is, it's past the Gospels, okay? Towards the back. <laughs> Passing the Acts. Who, who, uh, who among brave souls can uh, read us verse 7, chapter 15? Chapter 15, verse 7. Thank you. Go for it, Brother Frankie. Yes. Word of God. Praise. Thanks be to God. Welcome one another, therefore, as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. How many of you feel welcomed and accepted here at the sower? Amen? Right? <laughs> so that's our first step in identity. It's feeling accepted. It's feeling welcome. I think at one point, if some of us have lived a metanoia, we have felt accepted by our Lord and forgiven by our Lord, and then we come to the sower and we feel in community accepted, which is something that's very crucial, by the way, in, in this journey, is not isolating ourselves, and I don't mean because of health reasons, I mean when when we truly come into community, we find that acceptance that we may not be finding elsewhere. That acceptance that everyone seeks, right? Isn't that why a lot of people nowadays are on social media looking for likes or followers? Because they just wanna be accepted. But God is telling me, I am going to accept you if you simply allow me to enter your life. So we come to acceptance, so we come to the sower, and we're all thriving and in community and everything is great. Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of. <laughs> did, did the problem stop? No, it got worse. It got worse. <laughs> Well, like I said, today we're gonna go a little bit deeper. And to be accepted is one thing, but what about to identify as being chosen? Because all of us here weren't just called, we were chosen. And what were you chosen for, right? Some of us are still figuring that out. I was chosen for <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, but I think that's all of us because of our wonderful Adam and Eve fathers. I think that's why we have Christ, uh, Jesus, but thank you. No, it, it, I mean, what were we chosen for? Some of us are still figuring that out, and that's okay. The idea is my, you know, this identity of, of being a child of God isn't something that you've reached and that's it. It's, a, it's not a destination as it say. It's a journey because, I mean, I'm not married, but this is what I hear all the time from my friends who are. Who we were when we first married, we're not the same people that we are now. Wow. And then I think about, <laughs> Even as single people, who we were when we were teenagers, we're not the same who we were then, right? In our 20s and our 30s, whatever age we were when we were younger. So looking at to being called to be chosen takes us to John chapter 15, verse 16. Yes. 
Can someone uh, volunteer to read that for us, please? Go ahead, Brother Ralph. All right. Verse 16, right? Yes, please. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whoever you ask, the, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you the what? gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. One more time. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give to you the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So you're chosen. You're figuring it out. But God is telling us, I chose you. You didn't choose me. And so now we find ourselves with this question of what did you choose me for? You know, what, are, what is it that, what's my purpose? And I'll take, I'll take this a little bit further back because I think this is very crucial and it's part of our catechism in our faith. And for those of you who may already be confirmed, finding what you're chosen for has a lot to do with our gifts from the Holy Spirit. And those gifts can only come to fruit when we allow ourselves to be open and vulnerable to God's will. And why do I share that? Because a lot of times we find ourselves frustrated, not understanding what it is that the Lord wants from us, we thirst for him, so we come to sow our nights and we give ourselves. But there is more that he calls us, right? And the beauty of it is he gives it to us with free will in the sense that we can choose if we want to go ahead and explore going in deeper. And why do I talk about going in deeper? Well, if you ever have... I had kids as students, okay? Not as children, but I know parents will understand better. You ever have your kid and you want them to go a certain direction because you know better, right? But that child is a child of God, comes with its own personality, its own mind, and its own gifts. And it is your responsibility as parents Mine, when I was an educator, to help bring to fruit those gifts. It's the same thing here. We have the word of God to help us bring fruit to our gifts if we simply allow it. And it doesn't come, from my experience, it doesn't come from a, something grandiose as far as like a manifestation that's going to look like a beam of light and such. I mean, that's beautiful and I don't deny it. But, but for more, excuse me, but for most of us, these fruits have come from simply surrendering. And I say that because in this situation of, of the crisis that we see in the world of identity, I think that's what the world needs from us as Christians, to help them understand what they bring into the world is already in them that they don't need external voices to tell them. And they might classify us as external, but again, I go back to the word. Because we all have the same feeling when it comes to the word. And I say feeling because I can't use another word to make it tangible. When God speaks to us through the word, we have all felt it, amen? amen. So how can we deny that, right? How can we deny to someone, hey, no, this is a lie? We can't. So it goes to say that as Christians, we're called to be able to help ourselves in the identity of what we're chosen for. And with being chosen comes a responsibility of also understanding 
that you are free. You are free not only to choose how you, ch how you want to follow Christ, but you're also free from all the lies that the enemy has ever put in you, from all the uh, labels that maybe family members or loved ones have called you. You're free from labels or names that maybe even your own friends or teachers have ever called you. So can we please turn to Galatians 4, 7. Thirteen twelve. Thank you, brother. Thirteen twelve. Deacon, could you do me a favor and read Galatians four seven, please? Galatians chapter four, verse seven. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One more time, Deacon. Please. So, you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. How many of you even think of yourself as an heir? That you're going to... Do you know what an heir is? Okay. An heir is... An heir is... An heir is someone who's going to inherit. So God is telling us here that you are no longer a slave but a child, and if a child, then also an heir through God. So you are... And a person... We are all going to inherit the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen? That's what God is telling you, is you are here to inherit his kingdom, and you are no longer a slave to whatever lies, to whatever fear you've ever been given. This is why I tell a lot of people when they come, and um, not just here, I'm saying come up to me with heaviness in their heart. The first thing I tell them is, when was the last time you confessed? You know, a lot of times, the guilt that comes from all the lies, because that's what they are, they're lies. They're, everything that's negative that, that goes against what God tells us is a lie. And we know who the lies come from, but we don't, I don't care to give them any more credit because I worry more about the truth. And to be able to understand free. It's very difficult. And I say that because a lot of times being free is something that we don't necessarily know what it feels like, maybe spiritually, but in other things not. If we have a mortgage, we're kind of tied to that mortgage. If we have a car note, we have that, we're tied to that car payment. You know, it's, it's, we're never really free. <laughs> if you live in this country, you're always paying taxes. So you're never really free, right? So to be able to, so to be able to grasp what it means to be free, I want you guys to really contemplate the word heir. I am an heir. Heredero, heredera. Yeah, and and and, 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 and like that. 
And one of the saints that I personally think of when you when you say that that was chosen to quote unquote suffer is Padre Pio. Saint Padre Pio had, you know, uh, the gift of, of the of the stigmas. And did you guys know that he he asked for God to remove them when he was younger, and he did. They came back because God knew when they needed to come back and he was ready. That's what I, that, that, that kind of ties into what you just said is if, if there's something that you feel like you said, physical aim, ailment that might cause me to suffer, you can ask God, if, take it away, but be prepared because it's gonna come back. Not because he wants you to suffer, but because it was meant to purify or glorify. <laughs> no, she knows. It's, it's true. A lot, and, and that's how most of us feel in, 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 the, in our suffering, is that we're chosen to suffer. Well, no, these are the consequences, right? We have consequences. Um, I remember very vividly when I was very young, my mom would tell me, don't do this because bad things are gonna happen. And I don't know what it is about moms, if they say it, I could not skip school because bad things would happen. And I couldn't get away with anything because bad things would happen. And when I say bad things, I don't mean like, you know, I was hurt or anything, but I definitely realized like, oh, this was not the right choice. What are you gonna say, Sister Penn? Them. And you have to ask God for guidance. Whenever you're suffering, go to a spiritual guide and then ask them, how do you carry that cross during that time? Beautiful. So in our journey of what we're chosen for, we have to understand what also that we're free, right? We're free to be able to choose whatever it is that God wants from us. And then here comes my, my favorite. This is actually a letter of John. This is not, this is in the Hebrews. And the first letter of John. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. This is a letter, it's, it's a letter of John. It's in Hebrew, under the first letter of John. Way back in the back. Yes. Way in the back. Before Revelation. Yes. So to be free, I have to acknowledge my sins. Boy, that. Ouch. Ouch. I mean, I can go and tell the father that, you know, I looked at my sister the wrong way or, you know, I probably said a word that I shouldn't have said. But what, but am I really free? You know, a lot of times, as I just recently learned this weekend, forgiveness from God, true forgiveness in Christ, is not the forgiveness that we think of. And why do I say that? Because going to repent and going to confess, it's a beautiful in, initiate, initiating step towards forgiveness. But true forgiveness? How many of you after confessing, and don't raise your hands, okay? This is meant for you to think about. How many of you after you confess, do you truly forgive yourself? Mm. Ouch. 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 Yes. The Father just you know, told me that Christ absolutely forgave it. But did I? Why? Because as humans, we tend to condition ourselves to what? Never forget. But Christ, on the other hand, is saying, forget. Forgive and forget. Can you imagine if we go to God and say, yes, Lord, please forgive my sins, but don't forget them? <laughs> I'm sorry, but can you imagine? Like, He's telling literally us, I will forgive you, and I will forget them. Now do the same. So, so understanding how much weight 
sins can have in our identity is big. Why do I say that? Because part of our, our, our identity and who we are with each other has a lot to do with the way we might feel towards that person. Sometimes, you know, I've had friends who have done things to me that I've forgiven, but I, and I thought I forgot, but I had it. And so because of that, you're kind of like a little more cautious about things, right? You're not fully trusting. And that goes to show me that, wow, I didn't really forget. I didn't really forgive, not the way God calls me to. So understanding that if I actually become a person who can forgive with a full heart and who can actually re completely forget about the ill that was wrong done to me, the wrong that was done to me, that's where the true freedom comes. That's where the true freedom of, our, of, of being able to free myself from sin comes from. And the next... Um, Beautiful, and we're almost towards the end. The next um, scripture is Genesis 1.27. This is actually the beginning. Genesis 1.27. Whoever gets there first, please feel free to share it. Yes. What page? Page 10. Look at that. <laughs> Easy. Sis, Sister Maddie's got it. Go for it, sis. The word of God. Thanks be to God. One more time. God created mankind is in, in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Male and female. Who created man? God. To whose image? His image. His image. His own image. His own image. His own image. And boy, do we struggle with that. Especially <laughs> us ladies. Oh, ouch. Why do I say us ladies? Because we all do. But I said, it's more visible on us. It's less visible on you men because you have less things to worry about. You don't have to accessorize your, your hair. You don't have to color it, accessorize your wardrobe. You don't have to accessorize it. I mean, they can, you're right. Yes, yes. We all struggle with image. I agree. And, that's, and that's, that's the point that brings me to this part is, who are we in the image of God? You know, one of the biggest uh, lessons I learned in, in acceptance, it came many, many years ago. And it was thanks to, um, a do uh, he's a public speaker. He came at one of the congresos. And, and the exercise that he taught us was to go before the mirror before you enter your shower and give yourselves loving affirmations. Look at the parts that you would want to change and affirm that God made those parts perfect. And, and, I, and, and, and here's, my t here's a little bit of testimony to that. The doubts don't go away. It just makes it easier for us to walk in this world with full confidence that who we are is perfect. And this is what I try to tell our brothers and sisters who struggle with identity right now. How many of our brothers and sisters right now are lost not only in their identity of you know, what orientation they, they, they think you know, they, 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 they are, but the fact of who they were even born, the gender they were given, 
And as Christians, we're called to help guide them with love and peace. So understanding how you are perfectly made can help us to better convey to our brothers and sisters how they are wonderfully made. So that's my invitation, by the way, is fully accept your image in how God made you. I love my mom because she, to me, this is a little bit of testimony, she's my rock of truly loving yourself after having cancer, after losing a body part that she was born with and she will no longer have, after losing hair. You know, to me, cancer, cancer patients are the most wonderful warriors that we have of God's love. And I say that because, not because of the chosen to suffer part, but because when they triumph and they beat it, they come out much more stronger in that acceptance of God's love. And that makes me think sometimes like, Lord, it's your will, but I hope I don't have to go through something that drastic to embrace. And I pray that none of us do. If it's, that will be done, but again, while we can, let's embrace our image the way that God gave us, gave it, the way that God made us. Being able to accept God's image of ourselves comes from forgiveness, as I mentioned before, understanding that we are chosen, and accepting of being free and not a slave. You are made and created to be disciples of God and be able to spread his word and love throughout this earth. You belong to Jesus as you to Christ and Christ to God. I have to pause because belonging to Jesus has, some, has recently been something that has really gone deep with me. And that love for our Lord and knowing that I belong to him is such an amazing feeling. But understanding what purpose he has from it is a beautiful journey. And when I share this, it's because uh, God in his word gives us the answer to what it means to belong to him. You to Christ as Christ to God. So who's Christ? Who's Christ? Who's Christ? The son of God. Jesus, right? We belong to Jesus the way that Jesus belongs to God. And most of us can remember that the purpose for Jesus was to come and show us how to live like us. That's the reason why he came, why he became man, right? It's to be able to show us how to live the way God calls us to live, his commandments. Being loved by Jesus is an acceptance of oneself not only in the identity in, that you have, not only in the freedom of no longer being a slave to your sins, but also impacting day-to-day -day things in your life that are gonna keep you closer. So what do I mean by that? Your identity is the same way, your identity grows the same way that the world feeds it. The world currently feeds it by compliments, likes, or follows. I don't know what your preference is, but that's the way socially we, we show ourselves our acceptance of one another, right? If I see you, I compliment you. If I follow you on social media, I tap like, or I follow your page. That's how we socially uh, show each other. So what I would want to challenge you today is to ask God vulnerably, in vulnerability what your identity in him should be. If you already are a follower of Christ, I invite you to, 
find what your next purpose is. Find what more does he want from you. Because even as Christians, we can become stale water. So at this time, I'm going to ask all of you to please stand. Close your eyes for a moment. And together, if you could please repeat the words that I'm going to say. So we could bow our heads. Dear God, help me to know who I am. Let me see myself as you see me. As you gaze upon me, show me that you love me in my strengths and in my weaknesses. Open my heart so I can hear you call me. And if you're a woman, you can say daughter. And if you're a man, say son. Beloved daughter. Beloved son. Then secure my identity. And then secure my identity. Let me act so that others see you through me. Let me act so that others see you through me. Rid me of the need. Rid me of the need. To draw attention to myself. To draw attention to myself. May I always point, I always point to, you, to you, glory to you forever. Glory to you forever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before uh, Deacon starts with prayer, I want you guys to take your name tags off. And... As you come to prayer, I will leave new post-its on your tables and a pen. And there's a list in the middle. I, will, I invite you to pray. And whatever new identity speaks out to you, I invite you to write it on your new post-it and attach that as your new identity. Slave to Hallelujah. fear. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. 
from my mother's womb. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. Love has called my name. I've been born again into a family. Your blood, your blood flows through my veins. I'm no longer a slave. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. Sing it out. I'm no longer a slave. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. One more time. I'm no longer a slave. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. Yes, yes. child of God. I am a child of God. Brothers and sisters, this is your time. Sister, Sister uh, Senior said that there's always more. There's always more. There's always more for you. There's always more for you to come and open up and to receive a deeper connection, a deeper understanding, a deeper revelation of who, who you are in God, who you are in Christ. God wants to meet you where you are right here at the altar tonight. So we are inviting you. We're inviting you one at a time. We're inviting you one at a time just to come on up to the space, I call this the space, the place of grace, the place of grace, the place of prayer, the place where you can meet Jesus, the place where you can experience a touch from God, the place where you can experience an outpouring of God's love and mercy and power. The Holy Spirit will come upon you if you open up. If you open up, open up and receive. So as, as Brother Roth plays another worship song, just want to invite you just to come through the aisle, come to the altar, lift your hands up, kneel down, and just allow us to pray with you. Hallelujah. He is jealous for me. And he is jealous for me. Love's like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath 
the weight of his wind and mercy. When all of a sudden, when all of a sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. And I realize, and I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for and how he loves us. And oh, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us so. What time? He is jealous for me. And he is jealous for me. Loves like a hurricane, I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy. When all of a sudden, when all of a sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. And I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. And how he loves us. And oh, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us so. And oh, how he loves us. And oh, how he loves us all. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us all. And he loves us. Yeah, he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, portion and we are his portion and he is our prize drawn to redemption by the grace in his eyes if his grace is an ocean we're all sinking so heaven meets earth so heaven meets earth like an unforeseen kiss in my heart turns violently inside of my chest. I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about the way that he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us, yeah, he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us. And oh, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us, how he loves us so, and oh, how he loves us, and oh, how he loves us so, oh, how he loves us. One more time, sing it out to him, how he loves us. And yeah, he loves us. Oh, how 
on the verge you are on the this is your night and you're just waiting for someone just to invite you up so this is your invitation right now come now and experience your healing your deliverance experience the power of God to fall on you experience your breakthrough experience experience a moment in time where you will encounter the Holy Spirit hallelujah Amen. Amen. Come, 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 come. Come down now. Take those steps of faith. Take those steps of courage in the name in the name of Jesus. Take those steps of growth tonight. Burst that bubble. Step out of your comfort zone tonight. That Jesus has more for you. He wants you to grow. He wants to give you more. He wants to heal you. He wants to purify you. He wants to sanctify you. He wants to get, strengthen your gifts. He wants to sharpen up your gifts. He wants to give you more. He wants to give you more. And after he gives you more, he wants to give you more. More. He has more for you. More for your future. More for your family. More for everything that you are doing in life. He wants to give you more. More, more purpose, more purpose, more, more, because you are called and you are destined to do great things in his name. He said that we were going to do bigger things that he did. And in order for us to do that, we need to come for him. We need to come to him so that he can continue to give us more so that we can continue to do more things in his name. Amen. Amen. Receive. Receive for what Jesus has in store for you. Receive what the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity have lined up for you in this night. Receive it. Receive it. Embrace it. Invite it into your life. Amen. Come out of sadness. Amen. Come Amen. out of sadness from Thank wherever you've been. You Thank you, God. Thank been. you, Father God. Come broken so hearted. Us, Let it rescue you. Begin. Begin. Bless us, Lord. Come find Bless us, mercy. Lord. That we need oh, your blessing, sinner, Lord. come kneel. Oh, Lord, Thank Earth you. has no sorrow that heaven, heaven can, can heal. For, for Earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal. So lay down your burdens. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame, all who are broken, lift up your face, oh undercome, oh, you're not too So lay down your heart, lay down your heart, come as you are. There's hope for the hopeless, and all those who strain, come sit at the table, come and taste the grace. There's rest for the weary, grace and endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can cure. So lay down your burdens. So lay down your burdens. Lay down your shame. All who are broken. All who are broken. Lift up your
en el nombre de Cristo nuestro Señor oh vengan ayuda nuestro auxilio para que podamos ser purificados santificados liberados sanados renovados levantados fortalecidos en el nombre de Cristo nuestro Señor el que es nuestro refugio oh Señor oh Señor tú eres bendito bendito y alabado seas tú Señor Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Bendito sean los que vienen en el nombre de Cristo. Oh, Señor, santo, santo, santo. Santo, 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 Señor. Santo, santo, santo. Santo, 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 santo. Santo, santo, santo. Santo, santo, santo. Santo, 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 santo sea el nombre de Jesús, bendito y alabado sea el nombre de Jesús, gracias Padre por tu amor, gracias por moverte en nosotros, thank you Father God, thank you Father God for dwelling in us, thank you Father God for moving here Lord, thank you Father God. Thank you, Father God. May you continue to move right now in your, in your spirit, Father God, so that we can get closer to you, Lord. Oh, continue to move in us, through us, around us. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, your son, your beloved son, we pray. We continue to pray. We continue to ask for help. We continue to ask for guidance, for strength, for renovation, for a new start. For, for more wisdom, for more, for more of anything that comes for you, Lord. Anything that draws us close to you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Father. Father. Gracias. Gracias. Spirit. your 
Come, Holy Spirit. church on fire again father god your will be done christ in us your kingdom come spirit lead us now as one said your church on fire again one more time father god your will be done Christ in us, your kingdom come. Spirit lead us now as one. Set your church on fire again. And come, Holy Spirit, fall on us. Burn like a fire and burn like a fire. Living flame of love. Living flame. Sing out, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence lord holy spirit you are welcome here come flood this place and fill the atmosphere your glory god is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord, to 
set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. And set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more. Sing that to him. Set a fire. To set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you. We want more of you, God. We want more of you, God. To set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love. To set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. And set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you. God, I want more of you, God. I want more, 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 I want more of you, God. I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more. I want more, I want more of you. And the Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Your presence, Lord. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. Sing that out to him. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. You're my one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. You're my one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need 
you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. You're my one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. You're my one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. in this place God is good Gracias a Dios. Ahorita es el momento de que le des gracias a Dios por todas esas veces que se te olvidó darle esas gracias por todas esas veces que Dios ha sido bueno contigo que que Dios es siempre bueno. Right now is the time to give, Lord, thanks for all those times that we forgot to give him thanks for all those times that he has blessed us and, and has been good to us because the Lord is always good. And right now is the perfect time to just pour out your heart and gratitude and just Give him thanks and just tell him, I love you, Lord. Thank you. Por un instante de tu amor. Ahorita es el momento que le digas que tanto lo amas al Señor. Por un estello de tu amor. Y darle esa gratitud a Él. Por un minuto nada más. Gracias, Padre. Todo daría. Gracias. No importaría. Gracias. Lo que tenga que pasar, lo que tenga que esperar. Tengo hambre de ti. Tengo hambre de ti. De tu presencia, de tu fragancia, de tu poder. Hambre que duele. Que debilita, que desespera por ti una vez más. Tengo hambre de ti, de tu presencia, de tu fragancia, de tu poder. Hambre que duele, que debilita. Que desespera por ti. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, just say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Scream it, shout it, live those words. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I don't know about you, but Jesus is good. Amen. Jesus has moved powerfully in this night. Amen. I've heard it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Man, Amen. this is a moment to give thanks. Why not? How can we not give him thanks for what he's doing? How not? Scream it. Shout it. 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. In gratitude, Lord, we want to offer an Our Father a Hail Mary saying thank you. And we're going to say we love you through this prayer that you left us behind as one team and one unit, as a ministry, a family in Christ, as individuals. In your name, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. To, and to our beloved mother, we say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. And just to add, before we close the night, every, we, we had our name tags tonight as our name and identity, and then we changed it to something in those yellow tags. This is only a small sample of what the Lord puts in your heart. So reflect on yourself. It doesn't have to be in this paper. There's more to you than just five words on a paper. We just put that as a sample there so you can start reflecting and analyzing your identity with our Lord. You're made man and woman, but there's more to you. You're made in his image. So please reflect on that tonight. Reflect on this because it's really important because you will be tested on it daily, right? I say free, I chose free, but it's so hard to really be free in this world when you're out there. In here, we're in a safe zone. Nothing, right here, everybody's covered with the blood of Christ, but some of us walk out that door and we immediately wipe it off. So just remember that, stay in prayer, stay humble and stay with our Lord. And we do have some few announcements. Uh, we have a brother from Shield of Faith who's here with an invitation, so I want to invite him over. Well, wow, this is amazing, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so first off, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me to do this. Uh, my name is Brian, um, and I am from Shield of Faith Youth Group, and we're out in North Hollywood, and we're actually going to host a three-day weekend retreat. It's going to be uh, perfect for you guys between the ages of 18 and 35, and I have some flyers in the back. If you do have any questions, I'm going to stick around, um, but I would like to invite you all, if you guys want to continue to receive more from the Holy Spirit, uh, I saw so many gifts from so many people tonight, and I know that God has more in store for you, and this can be a wonderful encounter. It's going to be October 6th, 7th, and 8th, and, you know, there's a donation, but of course, um, if you do need help or any assistance, please let us know. Uh, I will be taking some number as well, uh, if anyone is interested, and uh, once again, thank you guys for letting me do this, and uh, God bless this group. It's amazing. Yeah. Also, <laughs> we, we, have, we actually have a special invitation here from the parish uh, with Father Ugo, 22nd and 20, 21st and 22nd of September. We're going to have a two-night healing mass slash prayer. It, it, you know what? It's just... So our choir is going to be there. So are LA is actually going to be at service there. But it, we want everybody to be there because it's a night of prayer. It's a night of healing. It's a night of letting go. Uh, what's the name of the father coming from uh, New Orleans? We have a father coming from New Orleans. We'll have more information as we come, but it's the 21st and the 22nd from 7 to 9, from 7 to the Holy Spirit calls it off. That's what I'm going to say. It's supposed to be 7 to 9.30, but... Man, those things, those moments are amazing. And then we have Gary here. CDJ. 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 
<laughs> CDJ. So I want to share with y'all that CDJ test, is test. less than 30 minute days away. <clears throat> CDJ is going to be on September 30th and October 1st. So buy your tickets now because I have a feeling they're going to be sold out. Because we're doing a CDJ tour. This, these, this is, we're going to have a stop here on the, la the 28th of September. So y'all invited to come out that night as well. So yeah, we're doing a CDJ tour. If you're not doing nothing tomorrow and you live around the Anaheim area, I invite you to our next stop. If you need more information, it's under our Instagram, which is CDJ Esne. And it's pretty easy, just, yeah, just CDJ Esne, and you'll find our next stop. And as well as uh, SOAR members, where if you're interested also in being part of it and like coming out, the purpose of the tour is to like show our presence of CDJ at the parishes and also like promote their parish. Like, yo, we need like, we need a, call out the youth, like, hey, y'all got to come to Jesus. Like, y'all going through so much, Jesus could help you. So that's the purpose of the tour. It's not just CDJ, but also promote, like, the youth groups through social media, radio, television. At El Sembrador, we have the opportunity to use TV, radio, and social media to promote the good message. So if y'all ain't, uh, CDJ. CDJ. <laughs> yeah, if y'all are interested. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. I, you can speak to Daniela. She's uh, she knows about the information as well. So, so glory oh, to God. Thank you, Gary. So remember also to to listen to Deacon Doug's uh, radio show in the morning. What's it called, Deacon? With who? With who? Soul time with Deacon Doug. And actually, next week I'll be interviewing Sister D Sister Brenda. So just Ooh. tune in for that. So make sure you guys tune into that. Also, guys. Brothers and sisters, I want to invite you to, for the next, today, next week, and then the following, commit to coming. For the three-part series, you thought tonight was powerful. Every night is powerful with our Lord. So I can guarantee you next week, it's going to be like, whoa, again. Bring two Please. friends. Bring some more friends next week. <laughs> whoa. Boom, boom, boom. Right. right? We all have Bring those moments. We all have those moments with our Lord where we think, oh, man, I know it all. And then we're like, wow. Bring some people next Right? Time. So that's how it feels. That's how I feel when I learn something new about myself and our Lord. And I just like to express it. So good night, everybody. Also, if you could please put the Bibles on the, on the right hand where the snacks are so we can uh, pack it up and help us clean as well. And have a just to, before you end, when CDJ comes here for the tour... I just want to give you guys a heads up that we were blessed to have, just to give you guys a little surprise, um, we have the first class relic that's going to be visiting us that day of Maximilian's Kobe, right? And they're going to come, they're going to, we're going to have that first class relic present that day. So we're going to have a very powerful encounter that day. So I encourage you guys not to only come, but to invite people. And Latidos is going to be there as well. We're going to have a special guest, Bro Bick. Bro Bick is going to be here. He All right, good night. God bless everybody. Good night, good night. New on the Soul Radio, Rev Fico and Rio Squad. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed Trinity. Hallelujah. Amen. My Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. My Redeemer. You died on the cross to save me. You gave your life that I might live. You are the greatest, oh Lord. You bless me 